feel like it's been so long since I've been in a video. It's been a while since I've done a video. So, uh, how did we do when I was away? It felt a lot like this in a nutshell. Win, 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 win again! This time, 7 to 4, marking their fifth straight victory. I feel, I feel like it's been the longest time since I made a video. We had an off game, and then the game got postponed. I'm just great. Great. Uh, so, I have 89 subscribers, though. No subscribers went down. Thank you. Um, anyway, let's get to the game. Since Velasquez is on the bump today, he would struggle in the first inning, allowing a leadoff triple that would play to run. But uh, he would go seven strong innings against some guy on the Marlins, I don't know. But uh, then the Phillies just, you know, I was scared that they weren't going to turn it around. But then all this magic happens. Also, some good news, my light just went out. I have to go buy the one this weekend. So this is going to be some crappy lining, like it's a flashlight. So that's not going to be fun. But then, Phillies just turn around and it's magical, and this happens. Vince Velasquez gets on base. Two other runners gets on base. It's 2 nothing. We could use a big hit here from Franco. And he's just like... <sighs> Babushki! Scram Salamo! Phillies lead! And it's just a good day. I was kind of concerned where that ball landed, because it landed, and there was a little girl that it, like, zipped by. And I saw the dad just look down, like, I was wondering if she got hit. Thankfully, I don't think she did, though. Next inning, Freddy Galvis, a guy that we don't talk nearly as much about on this as I should, uh, he homers to left in the flower bed. No one can find it. I don't even know if anyone did find it. And hey, the Phillies lead 5-2. to two. It's looking good, and then they get a run back. Vince Velasquez would be pulled in the seventh, and then Michael Saunders would do something that he hasn't done all season. He hits a 421-foot bomb. It goes off the upper deck. These guys try to catch it, but they can't, and it just bounces down to the first. That was the longest home run I've ever seen out of a Phillies outfielder in a long time and that's saying something and then uh Hector Neres comes in he struggles a bit like always but he bounces back Phillies win four to seven fifth straight victory tied for second in the NL East behind the Nationals who are just destroying everyone right now I honestly can't believe we won again this is just fantastic we just keep winning everyone's contributing Michael Franco's contributing the most he also had two singles he got M interviewed by MLB Network. That was cool to watch. Sounders is finally contributing. Howie's still injured, but he will be contributing. Uh, Altair, he's been mind-blowing. I think he's got a starting spot in the near future. Um, who else am I trying to think of? Let's see. Uh, Aaron Nolas hurt, but he's dominant. Our minor league pitchers uh, are dominating theirs, but not getting any run support, just like Cole Hamels back in the day. By the way, I have this Cole Hamels shirt. I like Cole Hamels. He's a cool guy. Other than that, in this shaky, weird lighting functioning video, I uh, hope you liked it, and if you did, make sure to hit the like button, and if you really liked it, I suggest you subscribe, because these are going to be coming out every single day for the next until the next Phillies off day